Now, the hardest thing is to say, I'm going to go with the people who are lying to me, which is what I did. You know, and I'm trying to show leadership. I'm trying to say, and I did this at the beginning of the pandemic, which is you sit down and you say, okay, this is going to suck. You can ask us when this is going to be over. The short answer is we don't know. Two weeks to flatten the curve. I never understood that. Never made any sense to me. You know, and, and the reason it made no sense is because to me is it, it was nonsensical. Um, herd immunity. We, we speak like, 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 um, we speak like people with cognitive defects. We, we talk in such simplistic terms that can't possibly support the weight of the conversation. The key point is we expect you to get vaccinated. We expect you to get vaccinated at risk to yourself and your family. We expect you to take something that we cooked up and break your skin's barrier and have it course through your body even though you can't understand how it works. That is a profound ask. It is similar to saying we expect your sons to go to war when we say it's time to go to war. That does not ring in modern ears. We don't understand what, wait, wait, wait why do you get my son? I, it's my son. You're some sort of distant thing. This is why government is a profound responsibility. And, and I, I think that people think it's a profit opportunity that, you know, you do it for a few years and then you get the sweet consulting gigs and the speak, speaking arrangements afterwards. I can't get past it, David. I can't get past the idea that somehow the lessons of the 20th century appear to have been learned by absolutely no one. 